Do you ever have questions that you'd like to ask God? I do. Here's some of them. What do I need to do and what do I need to leave in God's hands? If I pray and I don't get a response pretty soon, how am I supposed to take that? How do I know if I'm following God's lead in my life? Why was, why was I born where I was born? Does prayer really make a difference? Why do kids die? Why are we still fighting each other when we are all the same in God's eyes? <laughs> I've got a ton more, but this should give you an idea of the things that I can struggle with. Over time, I have some, some answers, but there's still a lot of questions that I've got. But here are the things that, that I've learned. So what do I need to do and what do I need to leave in God's hands? Well, in general, if I can do something and it needs to be done, I do it. But I still pray for God's wisdom and His leading. So if there's something that I can do absolutely nothing about, I pray and leave it in God's hands. Do I always do that? No, but I know that is the best response. I don't need to worry or to fret over something that I can do nothing at all about. So if I pray and I don't get a response pretty soon, how am I supposed to take that? Well, I think God always responds. My problem is that he doesn't always respond in the way or the time that I want him to respond. You know, I look back over time, his response was always the best answer, even though I could not see it at that time. So how do I know if I'm following God's lead in my life? Well, this is really a tough one for me. I pray, I talk to the Christians, I talk to Nancy, we pray about it together, and if I don't get a no, I move forward. Why was I born where I was born? You know, I think this one will always baffle me. There's no reason that I was born into the loving, caring family that I was blessed with. Warren Buffett, he calls it the pregnancy lottery. So I won't go that far because I think that, that there is nothing that surprises God. No lottery with Him. But I still don't have have an answer to this one. Does prayer really make a difference? Yes. I really have come to believe that one, because, because Jesus tells us that it makes a difference, and two, for my life. For my life experiences, prayer connects us to God, and that alone makes a difference. Why do kids die? I don't know. The death of a child always haunts me. It is every parent's worst nightmare. But I do know this from people that I have observed. God is there in the pain. And ultimately, if we let him, he brings healing. Why are we still fighting each other when we're all the same in God's eyes? I still don't get it. Why the anger? Why the hatred? The answer lies in the fact that people do bad things. I love this, this answer from the message version of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. God put the world square with himself through the Messiah, giving the world a fresh start by offering forgiveness of sins. God has given us the task of telling everyone what he is doing. We're Christ representatives. God uses us to persuade men and women to drop their differences and enter into God's work of making things right between them. We're speaking for Christ himself now. Become friends with God. He's already a friend with you. You know, Jesus never promised us all the answers, and I believe he is okay with all of our questions, our doubts, our confusions, and our frustrations. It's all part of our, our growth as Christians. He wants us to turn to Him. He truly has all the answers, even when we don't get it. Our role, our role is to get through the muck while keeping our eyes on Him. So, if you could ask God any question, what would it be? Why? 
If God only answered one prayer in your life, what would you want that prayer to be?